finally it's back out. No, nobody had thought it was back out. No, no, somebody, some pictures of it posted it. I read it. You got the Zeus tool? situation I've never seen this happen before obviously our specially made fire rings had a really big incident right around here that made the head go whoop. are we torched anywhere yes yeah, no yeah, well. original glass I made I did 20 years ago bro 
It still all fits nice. The car had all the molding still on it. Full fiberglass dash, we still got one of those. Got one of those in that car. I was crawling up down this car in my 20s. For six months straight, I didn't do nothing but build these cars. So Mike ripped the whole front end off the car, but it originally had these fabricated front hubs and everything that we saved like 200 pounds with. So if you originally had them, but when he went to a bigger and a bigger tire and the car was making more and more power, he was having trouble where with mounting points where he was ripping the control arms off and causing issues. So when it worked, it worked, but I wasn't at the track with them anymore. So he put the original stuff back on. If we convert this to all wheel drive, we'll put all this stuff back on because he still has it, which is all of the uh, fabricated hubs. This is probably one of the first DSMs. I think it was the second one to run on methanol. No one else ran these things on methanol. Uh, the first time we took it to the dyno, uh, this is a 2000. Nobody believed me, but it made uh, it made 72 pounds of boost, and it was still fine, still all together. Because the wastegate was the wastegate placement wasn't working right. Where we would put the wastegate, it wasn't working correctly. We had to change it. Anyway, it made 72 pounds of boost. Nobody believed me. So then I had Haltech make me we're going back. Fucking dark ages here. Haltech made me a, a special software and sensor to record how much boost it would run. So it was always running there. Between 70 and 80 pounds of boost, it would run. Always. And then we were always having trouble sealing the head gasket. So I think I got a video of it somewhere. We just puke all the water out of it. And then we just fill it back up and just run it again. So yeah, it runs methanol, eight injectors. This is still running the old Siemens injectors, which are still very desirable. They still actually work very well. Um, it's automatic now. It was originally a five-speed. So yeah, there's been tons of work on this car. Oh, notice here uh, on this car, I was always trying to make everything super light back in the day. So I put the, the shutoff switch was here for the car. The cell switch, switch was here and we had a, you know, a cable in the car. So as the cable runs all the way to the back because the cable can be thin and super light. And then all the battery cables were over there. So that's still there from when I built that thing 20 plus years ago. And of course we put the battery in front to try and keep the weight on the front tires. But this one was a front wheel drive. It's always been a front wheel drive. We've been wanting to convert it to all wheel drive for years and it never got converted. It never got converted. And Mike, Mike was just, you know, I don't know. He liked fighting it, I don't know. This car looks sick when it's done. We have the one guy bringing the clutch. Pushing the clutch. Go 
Okay, boys, we are uh, officially unofficial, certified, uncertified, DSM, make, make for fixers. I just saw most Engine removalists. Yeah, engine removal non-specialists. All right, good. See you. Uh, go down just a tad. Oh, uh, slip oh. right in. Yeah, yeah, even the other one's fucking twisty turning right now. Okay, you go so ahead. Ball. Pull it out. Yep. I don't know, that might be the keepers, and they might be in the valve. Go down. It's not quick, but we'll spend most of Thursday putting the top end back together. Since everybody didn't like my Blackberry so much, let me see if I can get some updated technology for you. No, they love your Blackberry. Let me dig for my uh, bigger tricks here. Uh, it is 1.54, September 12th, Tuesday morning. And we're gonna go home and sleep, and then wake up and ruin our day with uh, more disappointing news. If we can get the head, our original head repaired, that's all welded up, just needs to be resurfaced, but I don't even know if we can get that done in time. We don't even have a crank trigger. We don't even have a clutch. Oh boy. Well, I think the clutch was gonna come tomorrow. We might have a clutch tomorrow. Right there, my friend. What's the difference? Is this a head? Oh, see, is there a special good. port job on there? You got a head. I got a head. Is there a fucking difference? There is a difference. Right. See what I'm saying? I mean, there is no difference. We're the same. Oh my god. You see how quick they are to <laughs> reverse it? Oh, 
super glue it in. Yeah, Brent was only fucking. Those are actually Brent's from the sponsorship. We had 2,000 spark plugs with wow. the sponsorship, and those are still boxes left over. Because we could only use one set. You just have no issue. They would never fucking fail. That, that's daddy's race car. I know, you probably thought it never existed, kind of like Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny, but it's real.
Congratulations. You get to Summit, and the first thing they do in the morning when they wake you up is they play uh, Let's Go Crazy Prince at full steam at 6 in the morning. So you're awoken in time to get engines blasted in your ear, correct? Yeah. We're going to go do a test pass with this car. We haven't done anything on it. Haven't tuned it, haven't driven it, nothing. So, I haven't showered. Uh, you can shower. I'm going to do that right now. <laughs> You burn your hands. So you want to wear those gloves. Right. You don't want to be on fire. Where's your door? The door! Where's the door? kicked off so we're gonna take them all off whatever uh, we got to do a little bit more slippage on the clutch and Marco's gonna do his thing and other than that we drove it back so that's okay we'll uh, we'll do what we got to do get ready for third round of qualifier at two o'clock and yeah so Jack. The only thing quick about it is the amount of oil that's leaking out of every spin. How's yeah. your new first tool since 1860 purchase? They don't really make them like they used to because 1860 was a good year when you used to buy your tools. Well, that's where my hand crank handle came into play. Well, I think you should hand. probably just go on eBay and shop for vintage tools. You would know best. I know. Here's what happened. A man from the past showed up, Blackberry in hand, 
and went to go shopping for fucking tools. He hasn't been shopping for tools since, of course, 1860, just before the revolution, um, in Canada, that is. Anyway, so what happened was he went and bought new tools and expected them to be of the same quality or same caliber as something that was American-made, Canadian-made in 1860. Instead, what he had is this leaky piece of shit <laughs> that's leaking oil slicks all over. Area. Back in my day, yeah. the oil used oil, we used to pour on the gravel driveways to keep the dust down. <laughs> DSM things, no big deal. Nothing out of the ordinary, cleaning up oil everywhere. It's ho sweating horsepower, it's okay. It's like the meat sweats. When you have too much meat, you sweat and want to like die, but you know it's so good so you don't die. It knows it's so good, so it sweats, but it doesn't die, so we'll be okay. Understand it, let's go. Get on your tires. the front. Aaron Gregory, 35 time winner of the 30th <laughs> annual DSM shootout. He wins every time. Doing thumbs? Yeah. Oh, oh, wait. This thing's fing sick. It's in its transitional phase right now. It is transitioning from a street full interior to a race interior. Front wheel drive talent. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm told, yeah. That's very nice. Can we have a look and see what's under the hood? Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's go look under the hood. All right. This is what we got. Fat House Fabrication Hot Parts here. Fat House is our boy. He's our best friend. We ever. have a Zona Rotor 10569S turbocharger. Valve cover from a guy who drives a six second 2G. And uh, we have some stuff from this company called Magnus Motorsports. Woo! Fuel rails, intake manifold, fuel pump, fuel pump bracket. This stuff is all sick, right? What do you Handsome. think of it? I really like it. It's uh, This thing is too nice for you. Like, Ooh, I think ouch. you should let me try it. Ouch. <laughs> But yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah, so it's an automatic transmission. Is that because you can't drive stick? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's the hills that get me. The yes. <laughs> it's the hills that roll the hills. on the hills. Yeah. You, you know? still have an emergency brake? I find sometimes if you're rolling backwards on a hill, you can just no. let the emergency brake up. No. I gotta tell you a secret. I don't even have rear brakes. You don't have any? No. The weight's gotta come out of it at this point. So when the cage gets updated, I'm gonna do a lightweight steering column because we still got tilt steering here. No, keep the tilt. I kept the tilt on mine. You're not saving really? any weight. It ain't worth it. Okay. It ain't right. worth it. Why well, you gonna waste all your time? And then and you can't get back in the car. And you don't have tilt. Real race cars have right. tilt. I got you. You're the master. Listen. It's awesome. Huh? Huh? That's how it's f***ing done, baby. <laughs> <laughs> tilt is... Mine still has tilt. Yeah, I, I don't I, miss not having tilt. That's for sure. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, when it's gone, you're going to miss it. That's true. Do you probably, miss the AC? Probably, right? You <laughs> miss the carpet? Yeah. You miss the carpet. You miss the AC. Uh, I bet you missed the rear views. Nobody misses rear brakes. Those, you don't yeah, need those. No, CD no, changer. Did you have no. a changer in this thing ever? No, it might have once. This thing was built in 92. I know. You sure you never had a changer? <laughs> I'm not sure. When did you buy it? I bought it in 2014. Oh. Yeah, someone probably got rid of it. Wait, no, 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 no. You had another one before that. Yeah, I did. Oh, okay, it was a different one. Okay. That one has the changer in it. Yeah, I'm sure. With the cartridges. Yeah. And you open the trunk one. and you yeah. pull the cartridge out. Yeah. Oh. Oh, we're gonna do R and B today because I feel like you love it. Yeah. <laughs> R and B always, man. Always. This is how we do it. Yeah, I love it. I love the color. I love the front wheel drive. Yes. Zero brakes, my man. For NHRA rules, it says brakes on all four corners. Yeah. Um, We're not an NHRA track. Exactly. All the boys, all the boys gone too soon. Rip Brown, Tom Noonan. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you did great. You did great. This is fan family. Fan family. Well done. Well done every time.
It felt it went straight though. Yeah, we just gotta. Well, we can take the front row. That's fine. I pulled the crew. I pulled the shoot of crew. And I'm like, oh no, I can tell that that comparison yeah. works pretty good. Is that for the two heavy car? I guess so. Was the weight? Was the weight on that shoot? Oh, I don't know. To pick the weight. No, I gave them all the specs on what oh, okay. we do, and they sold me whatever they suggested. Okay, I'm the other person picking. What did it do? Oh, uh, Marco's got it. What did it do? We go 10, 10.30s? It spun, so then it hit the fucking hit the RPM motor, and then it dragged it down a bit, and then it started going. See, the launch limiter is in effect stopping the spin in the green. Okay. The limiter, the limiter shutting the tire down. The limiter. Yeah, it was on the dot. Oh, was it ever? Yeah, and then it was killing timing a little bit. But it's okay, that's okay. That'll slow the car down a little bit. It only pulls a little bit of time. And I need a few more yeah. passes to... Yeah, you're not, but you got, you're, not, you're not used to listening to the He never was, he's never, he's never seen No, it. I am a Honda guy. I had 9500, no problem, but we sound different. <laughs> From pulling to shoot activation was like 41.2. feedback on the car this weekend. A lot of people loved it. A lot of people loved to see it back out and couldn't believe it was back out and liked the way it looks. And it was good. I, I, I really appreciate the the attitude and the atmosphere of, of people here. There's a lot of good, a lot of good people. But yeah, hopefully uh, the real warden is up for another 
another outing because uh, I had some fun. I, I I learned a lot. I know things that we gotta kind of make changes on to make things a little bit easier for me being the driver. Marco did his job all week. Fox did his job all weekend. Matthew, you did your job all weekend. Ryan, Reggie, Pat, everybody, everybody killed it. Everybody did a good job this weekend. So it's good. The car's for the most part it's still in one piece. The training is because of failure. You can't really be too too upset. The transmission was 20 years old, so it was kind of like let's just let's see what happens. And 60 pounds of boost, four gears, said no, thank you. We'll make the fix. That's all. We'll have fun. We'll get her done. Pro news.